seven storm track weather with Chief Meteorologist Cameron Hopman. Well, a warmer day across southern Wisconsin. Plenty of sunshine temperatures across the area. Well, about two, three, four degrees warmer than where we were yesterday at the same time. And well, it's all because of that combination of clear skies and dry conditions out there. You can see the helicopter flying by in the foreground there. The golden hour unfolding in downtown Madison. We see some of those golden trees there in the foreground as well. Mostly green though, still dealing with summer like conditions, not necessarily seeing those fall colors peak quite yet. Our satellite radar crystal clear and it's all thanks to this core of high pressure camped out over parts of the Midwest, the Great Plains and the upper Ohio Valley, keeping the majority of this cloud cover and any organized weather system away from us. It will also play a major role in keeping the remnants of Helene, which has now been upgraded to a major category four storm, a catastrophic storm that's likely to make landfall in the Big Bend area of the Gulf Coast of Florida within the next several hours here. Uh, the remnants of the system staying to the south of us, at least for the most part. Right now, though, crystal clear skies overlooking downtown Madison. Temperatures topping out at 78 earlier on. It's 76 degrees as of right now. It is absolutely spectacular no matter where you are in southern Wisconsin. 77 in Janesville, 74 Monroe, 78 degrees in Baraboo as of right now. The next several hours, much of the same story, pleasant, quiet weather with temperatures gradually dwindling from 63 degrees around 10 o'clock back down to the mid to low 50s early tomorrow morning. One change to the forecast, however, we go from clear skies this evening to some scattered cloud cover settling in early tomorrow morning. Nothing necessarily significant, but it will help keep temperatures a bit more mild south and east of Madison where we only only fall as low as 56 in Janesville, but we wake up to a morning low temperature of 52 degrees in Madison early tomorrow morning. You wake up tomorrow morning, it's 52 degrees at 6 o'clock. You have that first cup of, cup of coffee in the morning. 53 at 7 by 8 o'clock, right around 57 degrees. By 11 o'clock in the morning, we fast forward to 73 degrees. Still mainly clear to partly cloudy skies with gradually increasing cloud cover during the second half of the day tomorrow. Despite the added clouds, despite the northeasterly winds, temperatures are still well above average for this time of the year. We're up to 78 degrees right around 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon in Madison. That means if you're heading out to any of those Friday night football games tomorrow, kickoff temperatures looking pretty much perfect. 72 degrees right around that 7 o'clock hour, 68 at halftime by the end of the fourth quarter, we're right around 64 degrees by about 10 o'clock or so. So pleasant weather throughout our Friday night. But let's jump back to Helene. This is the latest on the storm. Again, just intensifying into a category four storm with sustained winds of 130 miles per hour. The latest with the storm, 20 foot storm surge of possibility in the Big Bend area. Wind gusts in excess of 140 miles per hour, more than a foot, possibly foot and a half of rainfall associated with this system as it makes landfall in the next several hours. Again, latest projections have it making landfall between Carabelle and Cedar Key key around 10 o'clock or so. From there, it will push northward, quickly weakening to a category one or two storm by the time it reaches Atlanta. I don't know if you've ever driven from Atlanta to the Gulf Coast. It takes a little while. That's how far inland this storm is expected to get with winds in excess of 60, possibly 70 miles per hour in Atlanta. By the time Friday rolls around, this storm system is beginning to weaken. It's still generating plenty of rain across parts of the Ohio Valley, but here at home, we could see some scattered rainfall as early as Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening. The majority of the model data, however, keeping things dry. Best chances of rain south and east of Madison on Saturday. Sunday, we're dry 78, 79 Monday, but a cold front swings through Monday evening. And that is what finally cools us off. It's going to be intense down there, so we're keeping an eye on that. It tonight. is going to be yeah. a very long night for the folks down in Florida. Okay, thanks, yeah. Cam.